Well, parents say that they're confused after not a whole lot happened during that emergency meeting, and one board member even tells me it was a total failure. It's an embarrassment. It's an embarrassment. Richmond mom Julie Trevi left stunned by what she considers a highly unproductive school board discussion Tuesday night. Why are we creating so much kerfluffle right before school is starting? The board called an emergency meeting to address the district's overall poor performance on this past year's SOL test. Leading up to it, some members, including Jonathan Young, touted transformative policy changes, major reorganization of personnel, and there were even rumors that Superintendent Jason Cameras would be fired, all of which instilled panic into the RPS community. But none of that happened. How do you explain this to the public, why there was so much of a buildup and then nothing happened? It can't be explained, and no one is more deflated than yours truly. We had an opportunity to introduce real policy and personnel changes, and frankly, I think folks in the 11th hour got cold feet. On policy, Vice Chair Kenya Gibson did make a motion, seconded by Young, to change the curriculum over the next year. But Cameras strongly opposed, saying it would hurt children and... Quite frankly, it just doesn't pass basic common sense. To shame me for making a motion, uh, it's simply not appropriate. It failed. Cameras also disapproved of how the board conducted business, presenting a proposal and then wanting to vote on it before the public can weigh in. But I think it would be a gross disservice to our educators, to our kids, to take this action suddenly without any notice. And board members who frequently vote in the minority raise concerns about the democratic process, saying they're often left out of pre-meeting conversations, suggesting the board majority strategizes on agenda items without them. I asked Young for a response. Cry me a river. Cry me a river. Someone is prepared to defend the status quo? Shame on them. God help them. There's a desire to create conflict when we need to focus on our students improving their learning, getting back to the levels pre-COVID, and stop with the drama. Just stop it. Meanwhile, school board chair Dr. Shonda Harris Muhammad says she believes that the meeting went exactly as it should have and that sometimes governing means disagreeing. Take a look at the statement. She says, we are not here to notarize Mr. Cameras' agenda. We are here to address student achievement by implementing our policies. When school board members do not agree with Mr. Cameras, those persons are created to be adversaries and they are not. Working for you in Richmond, I'm Tyler Lane, CBS 6 News.